name is Chloe Hardman. I'm currently doing an apprenticeship, um, a garment technology apprenticeship at FNF. and f It's a level three framework. It was kind of around GCSE sixth form when I started to consider my options because I, I kind of started to realise that university just wasn't suited to me. So I'm not academic in the way that it requires and I knew that I would struggle with it. And the only reason I would have gone is for more of the social aspect. So I didn't think it was worth it considering the amount of money it's for. So I kind of knew what an apprenticeship was at the time and I thought that would be a good alternative because obviously you're getting paid, you're also developing work skill set that I wouldn't have got through university and I thought that would be more valuable for me and it was more suitable for me. Um, so then I kind of just did a lot of research into fashion and apprenticeships and what options were there because um, at the time I didn't really know what I was looking for in sick form. I kind of just knew I wanted to go into fashion and I don't want to go to university. So then it was kind of a lot of research on what there was available. And then through finding fashion enters website, I found the different job roles, what was available and sort of like research into what I wanted to do. And then that's how I found about, out about garment technology and how like the more I read about it, the more I was like, yes, this is what <laughs> this is where I need to be, what I need to be doing. Amazing. Like, because <laughs> I was thinking about this, obviously, like in prep for this, and I was like, I don't know how to put it into words because it's been so good. Like I've gained so much that I couldn't have ever thought that I would have developed or gone through through my apprenticeship. And it's just indescribable how beneficial it's been. I've been there for 20 months now, so nearly two years, and I couldn't have enjoyed it more. There's been so many opportunities to develop and I feel really taken care of. I feel, I just feel like Tesco have invested in me because the amount of support they've given throughout my training and the amount of opportunity there's been throughout just to be a sponge and soak up all the knowledge. It's like a powerhouse of resources and training and like everything I need is at my fingertips. It's brilliant because everything I, I've needed to sort of succeed in my apprenticeship has been right there and I only need to ask and it's like, yes, we can help you, we can support you. I remember talking to my manager about it because it was really brilliant because we found a way to um, link what I was learning at college to reflect what I was doing day to day. So I would learn the skills and then put them into practice, especially with like modules, learning how to measure and the importance of that, um, sort of like looking into design and how that relates because my apprenticeship is on garment technology, but it's also great to learn about the other areas that feed in. So I feel like the, tr the modules at Fashion Enter, they do teach you about gunk technology, but you can also see how buying and design and merchandising also feed into all of it. So it's kind of everything you need to know, or like the starter pack of what you need is there. So completing fit workbook from the fit sessions, um, and then spending time on any project work we have, and then team meeting, so that could be with your commercial team. So buying merch and design or we have uh, weekly meetings as a technical team so sort of all of us get together and then I would spend a bit of time working on our yearly target at the beginning of the financial year objectives that we need to work on throughout the year and then review them at the end of the year along with our, our personal development so that we've got something to aim towards and so we're constantly making sure that we're stepping ourselves up and developing and then obviously because of current situations, we're trying to make sure as well that you're kind of just catching up with everyone. Like maybe it's a 10 minute meeting over tea and it doesn't really need to be about work, but just saying hi to everyone and making sure that everyone in your team has got someone to talk to and everyone's checking in, see how they're doing. But I think the main thing about my job is there's not really a typical day. <laughs> Like you're always getting involved in different things, you've always got different opportunities, you never know who you're going to be able to help or who you're going to speak to and there's also obviously lots of opportunities for like personal developments, you might have a meeting with someone just to learn about their job role that you don't normally speak to on a daily basis, so things like that we have time for as well which I think is really important. But as well, there's also a lot of opportunity for like innovation, problem solving. And I think those are the things that I love most, make me tick, make my brain tick and really get involved. Definitely.
because when I was at A level, I the only things I knew about I was like, okay, I want to go into fashion, but I only knew fashion design, and I was like, okay, well, I don't want to go into fashion design. And the only way I knew to get into that was through university. The only job I knew in the industry I wanted, I didn't want to do, and the only way to get into industry, I also didn't want to do. So, like doing an apprenticeship just suddenly opened up all these opportunities that I didn't know existed. Like it was only through finding fashion enter website that I was like, oh, there are so many jobs in fashion, but I didn't even know these existed. And if I hadn't I found the apprenticeship, I probably would have been like, oh, I need to go to uni because that's the only way I know how to get into fashion. And I feel like people shouldn't think that's your only option. Like if just through a bit of research, I managed to find all this. It was like a gold mine of <laughs> everything I wanted. And then that's how I found about, out about garment technology. So I think even if you're just a tiny bit curious about it, or you're thinking that university might not be fully for you, just research into it and then look at it. And that can give you a bit more understanding of what it is. Even if you're, as I said, like a little bit curious, it might just open up doors that you didn't know, make you consider like a different pathway that you didn't think of. So I think it's definitely worth it. And like I've gained so much, like even personally, because I had to move out for this, um, for this job, because it was a bit too far from my family home. So even just, I feel like looking after myself and my confidence has boosted throughout the two years that I've been here. And I couldn't have thought of that ever happening. It just makes sense for me to do it because I've just gained so much more than as I said, like if I went to uni, it just wouldn't have suited me and I feel like I probably would have ended up dropping out.